You had your cup of tea yet? Have you? Don't lie. What about you, Sally? You had your cup of tea yet? You're saying she's a liar. Sit down. You sit down. Actually, you go outside. Go on. Get out. Outside. Outside. What was that? You got something to say, Sally? What? Have you had a cup of tea or not? Listen, big mouth. Get outside now. Go on. Go on. That way. Oh, defiant. Then you're going to yawn at me. Now, what were you saying, Sally? You haven't had a cup of tea. Okay, we'll wait there. Sorry, guys, there ain't much there. <clears throat> right, stay. Well, there ain't much. Ah, uh ah, -uh, sit. Stay. Sally's got a smaller tongue, so she's got to drink quicker, so she gets a head start. All right, good girl, good boy. there watch these kids in the middle of the road there there see those big red stems and those flowers they're waratahs waratahs flower that is the end of winter spring is about to start uh, that's how i work the cycle uh, that's the last flower of the winter the waratahs the wattles and the waratahs and now spring hits and all the leaf buds and everything starts again a full 12 months this is my story I'm trying to show. Oh, crystal clear. I guess so, this is all green. Today it's all clean. Yeah, yesterday the water was just so green. Balls from dogs. Bring home balls from my dogs. Yeah, this water was green. Today it's running clear, so we've got a good clean poo tight today. This is when it's fun. It's so visual. Create a reaction from the draw out in this clear water. It's just fun. Oh, look at this superstructure. We've got timber, mattresses. Tires. Look at the light. Mm. Who knows where a big old bus will be in this lot? He's hiding up here. There he goes. Super clear. Sound way back. Oh. No, that was me, that was Timber. Right. Oh. One tree hit it. Twice. <laughs> it's an omen. This is a deeper hole here. Stay right back here. Bang it in. Oh, get out of the tree. Yeah, oh, missed him. Yeah, right. Oh, and again. I'm gonna get that out. Now that was that was a deeper hole. I didn't see anything just coming up there in that first couple. So I, I just because of the clarity. I just want to reset this, make sure it's in good. Redo it completely. Because of the clarity, we got right back out of their way. So then they're just going to shoot up, attack this lure, feeling safe. Otherwise, you'd have a. Oops. Get it right. 
otherwise we'll end up with a surface active fish that we can't get Ooh, it's winter now because he won't come up with our presence let's go it's a little squidgy one of the new squidgy rubbers and he's just about there twice That's the first fish I've missed with this rubber. It's a very soft plastic, so they just set my hook every time. Oh no, don't me over a tree. Oh, switch already. Okay, hey, put a new little Berkeley uh, ripple shad on. Now, this is going to sink, so I can draw and drop. Two good hits. He's not going to have another cheeky bow. He will do enough switches, but I, I'm not going to do that. I've already got a bite out of him. I know. Quickly go to it a couple more spots similar to this. Let's try and check another one. I think the problem then was it just didn't have the speed. Him to, to grab and set. Right, there was four bass there, they're all only small. They're all sitting under the lure. Now I've left them deliberately because I want to put a lure on, catch those little guys, and shut in the big ones that are in the area down. I attracted to this, I didn't draw up. So I'll just give it a couple more runs. Yeah, the water's so clear that um, the ultimate predator in the creek, they're not going to make it easy for me. Just put that squidgy back on just to, just to have a go. <clears throat> See if it makes a difference. Got a much different sound with the plastic hitting the water. Sometimes that's all it takes. So I'm just trying to put the pieces of the puzzle together. I'm thinking all those fish were in a hole with a, an undercut, a deep, deep hole with an undercut bank, shallow clear both ends. Where am I going to get something similar to that here? Most of this is wide and shallow. Could be a fair way down before I come across another one. But the way they come out, I think if I stay back a distance and get just wide cast through, I should draw one. Oh, you know what? I was down here with Vince last year in a heat wave in this exact spot and did that exact thing. It was 45 degrees, so. So it was like the end of the world when I was doing it then. <laughs> it's 12 degrees right now. Alright, let's get him. Ooh, there's the sun. I feel violated that golf course being so close now. Man, it's just greedy, they just keep they apply for 18 holes and then they get extras and then they keep creeping in on the creek line. multi-million dollar corporate company, high profit, <laughs> made to uh, care for the land a bit better. This is pretty juicy. Come on. Come on and smash it. 
He's got a big old bass just cruising around that stump right now. If he's seen me, go back on the other side of the stump. He's a chump, like only 30, but he's a big like, fat guy. He came cruising over, followed it, and then turned back around. Just sat there. Mmm, he was a chunk. So I know he's in there, so there's, there must be a stack of bass in here. I'm not feeding, but I'm going to make him feed. There he is. Come out on it now. He's right behind that log. I can still see him. He's feeding. Oh, he's just sitting on the bottom of it. Yeah. Come on. Look at him. It's large as life. Just watching him. Oh, I'm watching him and there's another one under my lure now. There, the little one. Oh, had it in his mouth. <laughs> oh, I, was I was just staring at this one that's just chewing on the stick. Yeah. Take it. He wants it. Take it. Followed it down. Oh, missed him. Huh? Wow. That was awesome. Uh, I just love that. It, watching those wild animals coming up at this lure. Watching this lure disappear in a fish's mouth. And a really quick switch. Just got to keep my eye out for snakes it's starting to pop up. A really quick switch, and I've got that one of those fish, but this is not just about getting the fish, this is this is about tricking the fish. Now I'm gonna have to shut up for a minute, go and find a track. Oh, I wish I had the camera on then, I just spooked the white buck. A young one. Oh, it's cold. It's a fever, man. Thank you. God, he just popped his head up. This is home now. Yeah. He's just there. See those leaves moving? Oh, so cool, that white deer in there. Just popped his bloody head up. And chunk. You can go far, I could even go about 20, 30 yards and he's hidden again. So be our limit. It's supposed to be half an hour, I'm half an hour in now. And oh. Ten cent piece. It's gonna get good luck. We walked across a white deer. And a, what an eight bass draw. I'd say I'll be uh, another half an hour getting out. Oh, so great. Uh, oh, so there's rings. It's a good sign. And you can see these fish follow your lure. Last time I turned, I just turned off a minute ago and bang, up come a big fish, bang, bang. Put the lure out of his mouth so I wouldn't hook him. But a second ago when I turned the camera off. And that golf ball, he was laughing. I think they're banging golf balls in at you. Dickheads. 
I didn't think to put the camera on, but believe it or not, three casts into this, and I've drawn one up to my feet and just hit it twice. Oh, oh no! I just had a monster bass follow this lure up. I mean, a chunk. I mean, 45, 50 centimetres. I was just down, I thought it was a snag. Oh, I've drawn him with the big girl, I don't know what I can hook him with. Oh, he's a big fish. Like, I mean, seriously big fish. Well, this has been interesting. I found the big bass, put it that way. Oh, I'm shaking. Now that was worth losing a lure. And it's worth doing a switch. He was a monster. Monster. Uh, the more I think about it, I'm pretty adamant. The way I lost that lure, that bass has come up, grabbed that tail, dragged it straight into the timber because it ran it through over and over and never hit it. And when I seen that other one, and I'm not leaving here without a few switches. It's like they're cruising up behind them. Just can't get them to take. Well, I did. Well, I've had a few bites. Oh, I just need dead again already. I'm going to buy a new camera. This bass fishing is something special to me. Like even the film I do, this sort of stuff, I, I want to watch it myself. It's a big, bright, bright jewel that really cracked it here, though. Send them from everywhere. You watch it. fish like this come out in the clear water. Just doesn't get any better. But uh, there, this river to see. Oh, he's got some weight in this guy. Look at the belly on that. That's chockers. Look how black it is. I don't even think this one ran this year. There's one beautiful fish. That's a chunk. Makes a big difference when you get that clear water though. You can see he's one of my bruises, see he's got double fins. See the deformity? He's got an extra dorsal fin. That's a South Creek special. Gone. Oh man, deadly lure. I shook up about <clears throat> Pardon me. I shook up about 10 bats. I've come back, gone one, two, straight away. Like two spots I shook a bass up, I've gone back and just hang time. They just come out and dog it. I drew that many monster bass up. I thought I'd give another little lure I got here in the box. It's a little tadpole from Fish Candy River Sea. I'll give that a go. And mate, you could just see him following it out. Oh, it was beautiful, beautiful. He just followed it out, swallowed it, and I was on. And there he is. He's pretty small compared to some of them. I'll let him go, and I'll show you the um, the lure I used. There's our bass. Little cracker. Gone. The only reason I didn't run the camera then was because of just battery. There he is, a little frog. Oh, I know they like the tadpole. I think I can't run this camera longer, but I'll come back another day. Um, it's just spectacular watching them come out of this stuff. I might have five minutes of life left, I don't know. My tea bag with this, it doesn't seem to be a tea bag lure, it's more of a roll over the snag and in their face type thing. I'll get back over in this corner. Amazing action, amazing action.
Get one in the shallows first. Just in case there's a, a visual, which I love. I'll just watch the bass come out, watch the lure disappear in there now, and then the line's bent, the rod's bent over. By the way, this rod is sensational, little dial rod too. I'm really impressed with it. Well, you've got to love this. Sydney Water's reclaimed all the land. But where they put all their legal uh, jit rock, uh, asbestos, there's cranes feeding amongst it. The fence around it and just left it. Just to seep into our creek. Ah, it's starting to go green again. Yep, a couple hundred thousand dollars worth of asbestos got dumped right on what I'm standing on. This is going to be left here. And those flags. That nits they know it's here. Can you see do that? Oh, two bass just there. Mid-water, sitting sunbake. I've got to go, I just wanted to have a quick look. It's starting to run red. Ooh. Oh well, look, there's another two. Oh, they split them. One's over there. And there goes the other one. There, shoom. The bass, not carp. That's six. Six. Look, you still see them swimming across there. Now, this is where the bass turn into carp, like little worms and things like that. All that weed dye, we've got a new patch just there. I don't know what that is. Must be some bad chemicals to uh, kill alligator weed. Look, look at the red. It's turned the ground red. Whatever's going through here. Yeah. Little finchies. Uh, it's time to go anyway, I just want to have a quick look and I mean, visually I saw, even the camera should pick them up. But it just shows, goes to show how spooky all fish are in clear water. Look, there's a little one. So he's shooting down for me now. Ah, so he turned on it. They're acting like carp. Oh look, one, two. More bass. So there's three more. I haven't got time to switch or anything, I'm just going to keep going but they're just sitting in those little like what's left of the weeds up here like there I think if you want to get them you, you little curl tail same same lures as you chase carp with we'll get them at the moment and at night they turn into uh turn into that Scottish man what's his name What is his name? The Highlander. Turned the Highlanders. Yeah, clear spooky water. Oh, I gotta go. But oh it's some nice big dormant cart right up the back there. Can't help it, I've got to cast one into the shot just in case there's a bass in it. Poor old bass, eh? Can't get it tough. Can't survive with everything that's going on. We've got Breakfast Creek there, and that's where a big chunk of pollutants are coming down. But that's Eastern Creek where it makes breakfast. The other big chunk of pollutants are coming down. If we could direct water down to Prospect Dam and then release it at Prospect Dam at the top of this Eastern Creek, we could flush a lot. Of, like, look at look at the colour. I mean, the water's crystal clear, but you still see that colour. That's the toxins in the ground. We got to flush this place out. We got to flush south out and we've got to fix things. Never let it get like this again. I mean, look, tie, 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 tie. Just there. Imagine in the rest of this creek what's around. 
I broke the law and they can bite my bum. This is where they go wrong. This, they almost got it right here. They fill in our creeks, keeping those high, dry stormwater runoff. This should be deep. This should be connected to the main creek. And then the pond over the other side of my car there, they've put fill in, lifted it, and made a dry pond. So when it rains, it just runs in there, through the hole, down in there, out it goes. They need to actually channel these things. They need to have water in it. Have it all connected. So this, this here should be a pond. And on, on some of the estates, that, on the larger scale, it's absolutely disgusting. There's you know, five acre uh, ponds like this. See the stormwater pipe there? They filled it in, sandstone rock here. That fills up, hits the pipe here, runs through there, runs through there, hits the creek. Gone. They should have that. They should have two and a half metres of water in it and an overflow. And this should hold a metre of water and be connected. It's not rocket science. If anyone ever wants to do a, a university degree of some sort of difference of a challenge, try and calculate the amount of water per house and the speed it's sped up to in stormwater from development compared to when it was a cow paddy.